Then after that, as you said, break it down. I will not only break it, I will break it, dissect, decipher, internalize, and give it free of charge. No. <laughs> Son of Adam, I have created dunya for you and created you for me, meaning for my worship. So therefore, you came to this dunya, you came to this dunya, this dunya is for you, but you are for who? Allah. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا إِهِ لِيَعْبُدُونِ In chapter 51 verse 56, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. I have not created humans except for my worship. Ins and jinn, mankind and jinn, all of you were created for my worship. So Allah said, I have created this dunya. What is dunya? The Canada you talking about, you live in, is part of dunya. America, where we came from, is part of what? Dunya. Asia that our brothers live in, is part of what? Dunya. Africa is part of what? Dunya. This gigantic earth is dunya. This life of dunya is what we live in. This transitory enjoyment, this short period time of living. And listen, I have created dunya for you and I've created you for me. Whether you worship me or not, I will give you what I have created for you. What did Allah create for you? Dunya. So whether you worship me or not, Allah said, I will steal what? Uh, did Abu Jahl used to worship Allah? No. no. Did he eat or not? He Sharun, did he make sujud to Allah? No. Did he used to eat or not? George W. Bush used to worship Allah in the masjid. <laughs> did he eat or not? Yes. Don't care first. Did they, are they eating or not? Yes. Did they make sujud? No. Are they coming for fajr? No. Did they go to Juma? No. Did they come for eat prayer? No. Did they make a dhikr? Are they being fed by Allah or not? So Allah said, whether you worship me or not, I have created you. This dunya is for you. I'm going to give it to you. Do whatever you want. I have created dunya for you and created you for my worship. Therefore, whether you worship me or not, I will still give you what I have created you for. But if you neglect what, have, what you have been created for, by taking what has been created for you, you're going to lose both. I'm going to repeat. I have created the dunya for you and you for my worship. If you keep yourself busy for that which you have been created for, you're going to get what you want. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, here is dunya. Dunya is for you. Here is worship. You're supposed to worship me. If you keep yourself busy searching for dollars, searching for dunya, and completely forget about God, he said, I'm going to give you what I have created you. I will give you all what I've created for you. But if you keep yourself busy by chasing behind dunya, that is already for you. You're chasing it. It's already for you. The ball is right in front of you and you're running away. Will you, will, will you get the ball? Somebody, now here is Maradona. He gave you the ball. Just take the ball as number nine, put it in the net, right? But the ball is in front of you and you're chasing it. There's no goal. That means there's no goal. Likewise, dunya Allah said, I gave it for you. It's right in front of you. Why are you chasing it? If you chase it, you're not going to get it. So keep yourself busy with that which you have been created for. Then you get dunya and akhirah. But if you chase for the ball, you're going to lose the ball and you're going to lose the goal. And lose both. So, brothers and sisters in faith, Allah has made dunya easy for us. Whether you search for it or not, Allah said, if this dunya is even equivalent to the wind of mosquito, I wouldn't have given a non-Muslim a drink of water. If dunya is tantamount, meaning it's equivalent to the wing of mosquito. Mosquito itself is how, what is the, what is the pound of mosquito? One pound? No. It's not even an ounce. How about the wing? The wing. What do you think about the wing? It's nothing, right? So Allah said, if this whole dunya is equivalent to the wing of mosquito, I wouldn't have given a non-believer a cup of water to drink. So brothers, Somerset Mogam is saying, if you value something more than what God gave you, 
you're gonna lose what God gave you and what you striving for, you're gonna lose it as well. Do you wanna lose both? No, no. You want to play for Chelsea. You ran away from Kotoko. And now you return back to Ghana Kotoko, say they don't want you. <laughs> you lose both. You end up losing both. That's how the life is. Allah gave you something you don't buy you, you're gonna lose both. You're gonna what? You're gonna lose both. So here, Allah had blessed us with kids. If we don't take them as valuable things from Allah, we're gonna lose both and the dunya that we're chasing, we're gonna lose them. And whatever we're chasing in dunya, we're gonna lose everything until we are in our graves. What we're supposed to get, we're gonna lose all together. So here, let's begin the topic, the youth. All what I said, brothers, I'm sorry, and sisters downstairs, I was just warming up. I want to start the topic now. Sharif. Inshallah. Show the man. No, be careful. We're about to start. Very good. Inshallah. I, was, I just was warming up. Wow. All that's warming up? Yeah, all this warming up. <laughs> I want to start the 